Well, look at it this way, John. The family unit's been under attack for decades. Dad. Yeah. Look, in, 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 in different ways, right? In, in, in different ways. The, the flavor of the decade is um, same-sex couples. Oh, that's so okay. It's, uh, look, uh, to each your own. I don't have anything against that. But they're teaching in school kids, you know, that, you know, you don't need a mommy and a daddy. You can have two mommies. You can have two daddies. Uh, I think that's a little much for kids. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard O'Jenna here. And with the real George Santos, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Video has resurfaced of a 2020 interview in which curious George Santos went on a homophobic rant and targeted children who have been raised by same-sex parents. And that's, that's an attack on the family unit in the sense where they're just making excuses and reasoning to explain to kids why there's only one mommy or why there's only daddy, you know, and there's no other person, that it's okay to be like that, that that's your unique type family. Santos lamented the erosion of the family unit, traditional family structure, and made vague accusations about same-sex parents somehow being the cause of all the ills of society. The soft-shoed Santos called same-sex couples an attack on the family and said schools make excuses by teaching kids it's okay to have single or gay parents. One parent can't parent two kids as well as two parents, and there's always that feminine touch to boys from the mother and that masculine touch to boys from the father. Same thing goes for the daughters and it creates equilibrium and balance. Yes. The scales are tipped and there's nobody left there and you have just one sided, you start creating troubled individuals. Troubled individuals are easier to manipulate and indoctrinate and they buy pretty much anything and drink any Kool-Aid you give them. He said they're teaching you can have two mommies or have two daddies. I think that's a little much for kids. Well, too much for kids, huh? I tell you what's too much for kids. Too much for adults and too much for any sane person is seeing you lie about the LGBTQ community and watching you support legislation that discriminates against them. And then to see the type of pictures that have surfaced of you recently, it's absolutely embarrassing. Do you have any recollection of the events in question, George, or should I I say Katara. Why would it be bad for minorities in general? And that includes me, right? But why would it be bad for us to have a mom, a dad in the same household, your little brothers and sisters, you know? And then I keep, I keep thinking because then that, that creates stability and stability raises good individuals who can, who are independent thinkers. You've been caught lying again. Now, I don't really care how you dress in your off time. That's not the question. What's in question is your inability to tell the truth. Nobody knows who you really are. You are like the character on Catch Me If You Can. And while you go unfazed by the countless distractions, as you call them, you remain too close to the seat of power. You must be removed from Congress. We will not accept that you will be on any committee. We, the people, will cause an uproar and we will organize to be the biggest thorn in your side until you are expelled from the halls of Congress. And no, George, same-sex households are not a conspiracy to control people. You are an absolute moron. We shall see how this all plays out, and we will be there to bring updates. George No Brainer Santos should not be allowed to sit on any committee. He's probably sitting back laughing right now as to how easy it was for him to lie his way to the House of Representatives. We really don't know who George Santos is right now. Kevin McCarthy doesn't know who he is as well. So how did he get approved to sit on committees? Is his vote that important to you, McCarthy, that you would sell the soul of the country to get it? We all know the answer, and we all know that there were deals made to get these jackaloons appointed. McCarthy's circle includes clowns, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.